everybody, this is Tina with Two Chicks and a Cricket, and I'm starting a new thing. I'm going to do for each holiday from now on, I'm going to do a week of cards for that particular holiday. So we're starting with Christmas, and for the for this week, every day you'll have a video for a different Christmas card, and they're going to be simple, and uh, just to give you an idea of some cards that you can make. So then when we go into next year, I'll do it for holidays like Valentine's Day and Mother's Day, Father's Day. So a couple weeks before that holiday happens, I'll have a week of holiday cards. So we're starting with Christmas, and I'm going to be using the Christmas cheer cartridge. And you will actually be able to do this if you have this cartridge or if you have this Stampin' Up! stocking punch, you'll be able to do it, this card with that too. And you're going to find that I use Stampin' Up! products to do my cards, and that's just because I'm not a great card maker. So Stampin' Up! really, it really helps me to use the Stampin' Up! products that coordinate and it just makes it a little bit easier for me. So what I'm doing is I have a piece of crumb cake card stock, and this is actually a different size card than normal. So you'll have to either make an envelope for this size card, or you'll have to put it in an envelope that is a little bit larger and it won't fit as perfect. So I am cutting this piece of card stock at six and a half inches. And then when you fold this in half, it'll be four and a quarter. So it'll be six and a half by four and a quarter. And so I'm just folding this in half. I'm going to take my bone folder and just give it a nice tight crease. And so I have my card now. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take and ink my edges with Cherry Cobbler. All right, so I have my card and it's inked. And then I have just taken and cut a strip of um, early espresso and it's at two inches. Oh, I, I'm not going to glue that down quite yet. I have a couple other things I'm going to do, so that's okay. So I'm going to move this aside so I can set this down. And then I have this strip of pattern paper that came from a paper pack, and it just is red, and it says ho, ho, ho. And I am going to glue that down. And I'm going to do that right in the middle of the brown piece. Then I have this piece of, this is um, from Stampin' Up! as well, and it's called Hem Twine, I believe, and it's uh, pretty thick, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap it around this piece of paper. I would normally try to get three because I would normally 
do two kind of crossed and then I would do one in the middle but I didn't cut this long enough and I don't want to um, cut another piece so I have this on there and then I'm just gonna take adhesive and run it over those pieces and then we're gonna bring our card back and we're gonna put this right at the bottom So then from my Christmas cheer cartridge, I have cut these out, and these are practically exactly like your Stampin' Up! stocking punch. And what I've done to these, I've already layered them together, but then I just have this really tiny stamp that says Hol Happy Holidays. And I'm just going to stamp right on the stocking itself. Happy Holidays. And it just barely fits. And these were cut out of Christmas cheer and I believe I cut them out at one and a half inches. So the other thing that I did was I took a white pen and I just did some, some faux stitching is you're going to take and put these down on your card. Just like that. So that is going to be your holiday card. And when you're finished, it will look like this. This is one that I did. And the only thing that's different is I didn't ink around the edges. Like I did on this one. But I did my stitching and my stamping. And then that is my card. So that's our first card. And there will be six more to come. So thanks for stopping by the blog, guys. And um, we'll see you tomorrow with another holiday card.